Okay, so here we have the mouth. Now we're going to sew the uh, tongue and the two teeth into it. So uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is start by taking your mouthpiece and folding it in half so we can get a crease. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter which way you fold it since afterwards we're going to be sewing in all the way around the mouth into the head of the bunny. So just fold it anywhere you like, get that crease, and open it up. Then you want to take your tongue and we're going to put the tongue directly in the center here. Okay, And to do that we will have um, we're going to take our hook and we're going to poke it in to one of the holes that is um, on the left and on the right of the of the uh, of the hook of the center sorry okay just like this okay. and then we're going to take our tongue take one of the uh, strings that we have and then grab it with our hook and pull through like this And we're going to do the same thing on the other side of this center hole. And we are sticking our string on the um, above the crease. So not below the crease that we made, above the crease. So find a hole on the left and the right above the crease to uh, stick your hook through. Okay. So there we have it. Here's our next one. We will grab some of this string and pull it through. You can also do it with a, a crochet needle, a yarn needle, but um, find just with the hook it's a lot quicker. So now what you want to do is just tie the two ends. There we have it. There is our tongue. It's now for the teeth. It's the same method. And we are going to put it. So here's our here's our crease. We're going to put it right onto the left and to the right like this. Um, we're make, going to make sure that we leave this top stitch here so we're not going to uh, sew the teeth into this top stitch rather we're going to sew it into uh, the one right below it. Okay so find your place, stick your hook in, grab one of the yarns, the, the ends of the um, of the tooth and stick it through. Do the other thing for the other side as well. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that when you do this you leave at least one sort of spacing between each tooth. And here we have the next one right there. And I'm just, in, uh, to grab the second yarn piece, I'm just leaving again another space in between the first yarn that I grabbed and this one. There we have it. Pull it through. There we go. There's our first tooth. We can tie that off, uh, which I will do in a moment, but let's just do our second tooth right now. Here's our second tooth. Find the spot that we're going to insert it. So again, I'm going to leave a bit of space in between, and then I'm going to insert it right there. A space or two, it's fine. Like this, pull it through, and the next one out here. Go and over and just pull it through like this. Okay. So now we have our teeth like this okay so i'm just going to tie the teeth at the back here and i will meet you once that is complete okay so for the next part of this project what we are going to do is sew the mouth to the head okay so the first part is that we need to stuff the head so take two pieces of stuffing 
Okay, one for the top and one for the bottom. The reason we're not doing one full piece of stuffing is because we want to leave a gap or a little space in the in the middle here so that the the mouth can fit there properly. Okay? So take your stuffing, stuff it in. Like this. Okay, you don't need to stuff it too tight. Um, you know, give yourself a little bit of room so that you can sew everything together properly. Take your yarn needle and thread the black tail of the mouth through it so that we can begin sewing. So what I did is that I just trimmed the back here of these excess yarn pieces so that it's easier to work with. So begin by just putting it in, making sure that it's where you want it to be, okay? And then find the gray um, stitch, and then find the gray stitch uh, that's opposite of where you were black yarn string uh, is. So in this case this is my black yarn tail and this is the um, this is the stitch that's opposite to it, right? So in that case what I want to do is just sew it in okay, like that. And I want to do that for the next stitch so I take the black stitch on the mouth and I just want to insert my uh, needle into the front loop of this stitch. So you see how a stitch has two loops, the front and the back. Just insert it into, into the front loop like that. And then insert it into your loop to the next loop on your mouth. Like so. Okay, from the bottom here. From the bottom like that pull through and just sew it in. Okay? So the idea is that you have one stitch, is that you have 30 stitches all the way around, one stitch for each of the 30 stitches in the gray. Right? So you sew up one stitch in the black with one stitch in the gray. So here we are working on the next black stitch and the next gray stitch like that okay So here we are now, working at the top uh, part of the mouth. And as you can see, we have two stitches in gray, right? Uh, what you want to do is that you want to work in the, the front loop. So the one closest to you, uh, not the back loop, the front loop. Okay, so work in the front loop of your black and, oops, this is the one prior to that, one second. So work in the front loop of your black and then work in the front loop of your gray, just like that. And if you find that your uh, bottom lip also has two loops, a front loop and a back loop, then again work in the front loop, the one closest to you. Um, in the case of mine, mine didn't. Mine just had one loop to work through. But, um, but yeah. Okay. So that's what you want to do, just continue working on the front loops of each of your 
uh, stitches and until you reach the beginning where you started off and I will meet you there okay so now that we are finished uh, sewing the mouth to the head we have our last string here we have our string here so what we're going to do is we're just going to weave it in to the mouth here just like this so that it doesn't get undone okay just like so and then stick it to the hole here so that the stitch becomes unnoticeable and we're going to just poke it through the end through the back of the head and just tie it like that and what we're going to do is take off our needle cut the string and just stick this inside the, uh, the head here okay with your needle there we go now we are finished our mouth Okay, so now we're going to start by continuing with the body. So we have our gray string still here. What we're going to do, we should not have cut this off. Okay, so it should still be attached here. You should have six stitches. So what we're going to do is chain one and turn okay then in the first stitch here we're going to do three single crochets all in the same stitch so one two and three okay in the next stitch we will do one single crochet in the next stitch we will do one single crochet. In the next stitch, we will do one single crochet. And in the next stitch, we will do one single crochet. Okay? Now, we will do three single crochets in this next stitch. Okay, and the last stitch. So one, two, and three. Okay. So you should now have uh, so you should now have ten stitches across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to chain one and turn okay so now what we will do is we will do two single crochets in the first stitch so insert our hook into the first stitch here and do two single crochets one and two okay then we will do um, eight single crochets, one in each of the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, and the last stitch we will do two single crochets. So insert it in your final stitch, and one and two. Okay, so you should now have 12 stitches across. Okay, so now we are going to do the arm. So for the arm, 
we will start by chaining 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so now we will chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we will do a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So in the second chain that we made here. Okay, so yarn over. Sorry, yarn over. And in the second chain, so one, two, here that we made. Pull over, yarn through. We have three uh, loops over our hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now we will do one more half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay? So this will be our first, this stitch was the first of our four chains that we just did. Okay? We have three loops, pull through all, of, all three. Okay? We will do that three more times to create a total of four fingers. Okay? So one, two, three, four. Do a half double crochet in the uh, th third chain from our hook or the second chain that we did. We have three loops, pull through all three and then do one final half double crochet in the last chain or the first chain that we made of the four. Okay, And yarn over, pull through all three. We'll do two more times, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, put it into the second chain here. Yarn, yarn, uh, pull a yarn through. We have three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, pull th uh, stick it through the first chain. Pull a yarn through. We have three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay. Now we will do it one more time. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull it through the second chain here. We have three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, stick it through the first chain. Pull through. We have three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three. Now we have something that looks like this. So what we will do now is we have one loop already on our hook. Stick it through this loop here. So we have between fingers uh, four and three, we have a chain here, right in the middle here, right? Stick it through, pull a loop through, we have two. Do the same between fingers two and three. Here's our uh, middle chain here, right in the middle. Stick it through, pull a loop through. We've got three and one more. Here's our between the second and the first finger. Here's our middle loop. Stick it through, and now we have four loops on our hook. And our final one here. So the first chain right here, that sort of brings our first, that sort of ties our first finger together, this one right here. Stick it through, bring a loop over. Now we have five loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops like this. Okay, like that. Now what we will do is for each of the 14 chains here, we will do one single crochet in each of them. Okay, so here is our first uh, chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Second chain, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Our third chain, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, our fourth chain, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and our fifth chain, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. So continue doing this all the way to the end here, and I will meet you there.